Hey, here we are at the Stephen C. Foster Cultural Care State Park in uh, North Florida. And we're going to go in the Carillion Tower. This thing plays about every 15 minutes and every hour. Um, it does a concert series. It plays all the music that Stephen Foster wrote. So let's take a walk inside here. <clears throat> and this is the museum portion. There's uh, Mr. Foster himself. sheet music that he wrote. So some plantation workers with uh, fucking the banjo and the kids dancing to it. He's got the right idea there. He's sleeping, but he's got a bite on his pole. And some chickens there eating watermelon. This is entitled Old Folks at Home, also a Stephen Foster song. I'm actually not sure what this is. Something having to do with music, I am sure of that. I have some pictures in here of the tower being built back in 1955. The construction phase all the way from the ground all the way to completion. Cost a half a million dollars to construct. Here is the Deegan Carolina Electric Player. There's the uh, paper roll that goes through. That pulls on the, uh, what do you call them inside, that makes the, uh, makes the sound. The uh, Carillon system is composed of 97 bells, three sets of, two th of 32 bells each, and one high G. The largest bells are two and a, I'm sorry, 12 and a half feet long and weigh 426 pounds. The smallest bells are three and a half feet long and weigh 69 pounds. They're supported by a massive wooden structure that measures 21 feet high, 15 feet long, and 11 feet wide. It's the world's largest tubular bell. That's kind of a mock-up of it. All right, go over here. This is what controls the tower. So when you hear the tower play, um, this is what's doing it. That's a role player right there. The Deegan Carillon role. That is old and I'm sure very expensive. It does, uh, looks like seven songs. Beautiful Dreamer, This Rose Will Remind You, Tell Me My Love of Thy Early Dreams, and then an intermediate stop. And then while the bowl goes around, Happy Hours at Home, Laura Lee and my old Kentucky home. And we'll be hearing those. 
about a half an hour from now. Another old piano there, it's all closed up. There's the, here's the master control. You can see the time now is uh, 3.26. And actually in a couple of minutes, um, it should go off at 3.30. We can see maybe some of this stuff work real quick before the concert at 4. Well, this is um, another one of his pianos here. This is Andrew Carnegie at one time owned this 1902 grand piano. Banjos. The J.A. Coburn's All Star Minis Ministrels. Here's a violin. Some more sheet music down here. The Tioga Waltz by Stephen C. Foster, 1841. And then we have the Glendy Burke. You can see on the river back there, boats going by. So this is the uh, Carol on Tower. Started to make some noise, but I guess it's not going to do anything just yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> definitely stop by here if you ever get some time, and we'll uh, we'll come back for the concert at uh, at this tower. We'll play at four o'clock.